hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thank you all so much for watching thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you so very much i appreciate you all and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged some it's not in the fair act use it's in my description box y'all so let's get to it y'all let's get to it let's get to it um it's a lot i want to talk to you all about i'm probably gonna have to piece it up in a couple videos because i ain't gonna be able to talk to y'all about all of this at once but um few things that i wanted to hit on today okay few things few things so first let's talk about y'all know we gotta talk about takeoff because there's a lot of stuff going on y'all okay um let's go through a couple pictures weird 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 i want y'all to look at the resemblance of the two okay that's number one i wanted to talk about let's talk about it y'all let's talk about it um take off duke 93rd the jeweler from chicago look how close they resembles y'all now remember earlier or the day before takeoff was taken out i told y'all i reported to you all that news came in so i said allegedly that one of jay prince's nephews was taken out remember i told y'all and i told y'all that word on the street that his nephew being taken out has something to do with the Duke 93rd situation. Remember I told y'all this? And I find it really, really odd, y'all, that allegedly Duke get taken out, then Jay Prince Jr.'s cousin gets taken out. They Word on the street, it was the day before uh, it was either the 30th or the 31st. This is what I heard. That their cousin was taken out, y'all. And then the night of Halloween, takeoff gets taken out. And he looks just like Duke 93rd, y'all. People would swear their family. Now, I don't know. Do you all remember something? That was going around on social media y'all they were saying that duke had moved to houston remember y'all remember we was hearing some stuff like that and i came across some information that duke was doing business a lot of business okay in houston he didn't just start doing no business there he been doing business there okay so why that night all the nights that he has been around Houston doing business all these years. He was doing business with them way, about five years ago in Houston. So why the night that, you know, he's doing business with Boosie, he gets taken out in a park in a blind spot, y'all. Pay attention to this. Why right after, allegedly, one of Jay Princeton's nephews gets taken out on the 30th this year of october or the 31st it was one of those days early in the morning sounds similar y'all don't it don't this sound similar to me the report that i put out before this even took place that the nephew of j prince jr was taken out early in the morning ain't that what i said y'all and then the next day take off is taken out early in the morning and he looks just like duke 93rd y'all did duke 93rd have family and he had word on the street it remember i told y'all this too i said duke 93rd got a lot of people in atlanta Remember I told y'all this? And ain't this where... I'm not trying to say they some kin, y'all. 
But something is odd about this. Y'all. Just think about it. Quavo and them is all from Atlanta. And if I told y'all, I said Boosie can have all he want to, but, you know, Duke 93rd got people everywhere, y'all. Something is a brewing, y'all. Something is a brewing. And I'm starting to wonder, y'all. Is there more to this story than we know? Okay. Now, a lot of the guy bloggers, I know, you know, a lot of guys, I have to give them their shout out when they're doing their thing. A, um, what's his name? Academics. He, he, he's doing his things. I have to give him his. Um, Hassan Campbell, he's out here doing his thing when it comes to, you know, reporting on this and everything that's going on and giving people different scenario, you know, um, you know, something to think about y'all. I have to give it to people when they're doing their thing out here. But, um, something's odd about this, y'all. Okay? Something is very odd about this. Now, I'm going to tell y'all something else that's odd. Okay? I'm going to tell y'all really, really quick. Because, you know, y'all, you know when I get deep in my head. Okay? You know what else is odd about this picture right here? Is the birthday guy. Now, this is supposed to be the guy to the right. It's supposed to be a person of interest that had his um toy pointed at takeoff. Y'all don't find it odd that the birthday guy and the guy that was one of the hitters of takeoff had on the same outfit. Y'all don't find it odd. Because I do. I find it very odd for the birthday guy to have on a, a yellow sweater with a fish on it, y'all. A red looking fish. And then the alleged one of the hitters has on a, a yellow sweater, y'all. And something red on his sweater too right there. Okay. And I want y'all to think about this. Okay. Because a lot of people, is they missing some stuff that's right in their face. That's very odd about this whole situation. Is Jazz Prince. Had a hat on, said he was fishing tonight, y'all. He's fishing. Okay? Pay attention to this with a fish on his shirt. Now, remember, I keep telling y'all that they want a big fish, y'all. I kept saying this. I said this so many months ago. Y'all just, they want a big fish. I told y'all this. Do they think, you know, is this a form of mockery? Y'all, ask yourself this question. Is this a form of mockery? You going fishing tonight? You fishing, fishing tonight. This is what he wore on his hat. And I was like, why would a person wear a fishing sweater and a fishing hat on their birthday? Y'all make it make sense. Because usually people want to get, you know, they want to be fancy, y'all. How do you be fancy in a fishing hat and a sweater? I keep telling y'all pay attention to stuff in your face. It's a reason, I do believe. Okay? Now, remember that, um, I don't know, somebody's video. I don't know who, whose video, but somebody's video. They said... That Jazz Prince said he was at home by that time at night. So did, did Jazz Prince want people to think that he wasn't there anymore? And then he want, they wanted us to think that the guy with the hoodie, you know, with the same hoodie on. And I'm wondering now, was there anybody else there with the same hoodie on? Y'all, I want y'all to pay attention to the angles of the camera, the footage that we did get. Some stuff is seeming staged to me, y'all. Okay? Some stuff is just seeming staged. Now, let's talk about Jay Prince walking out. Okay? Jay Prince walks out, and then somebody with a yellow shirt walks past him. 
when he walks that way and he tries to pretend like he ain't paid this guy no attention and this guy got on a yellow hoodie just like his brother had on the birthday guy yellow hoodie okay he walks right past him and it's another thing i want y'all to pay attention to these females how they're all in the angles and then they popping out right now giving their little statements and I, this is another thing i'm gonna tell y'all about the bloggers just because they see a pretty face when it's a man they see a pretty face and a soft voice and they feel like oh she's telling the truth because bloggers was like oh this is confirmation right here that the females is telling the truth when all they had to do was listen to her and they was going to question what she was saying if they would have listened to her. But they looking at their pictures on social media and listening to their little voices and feeling like, oh, she telling the truth. She came forward. But this ain't it. Now, I want y'all to notice how J. Prince Jr. raises his hand up to somebody. And it looks as if he's raising his hand up to the camera person. Right, y'all? Because the camera person is recording him go back and look at the footage he has his hand down but then he raises his hand up like you know stop recording me or something like a signal to the the person that's recording so this tells you that you know he knows who is recording possibly okay because he knows all these people they were invited so everybody most likely in there he know them okay y'all so he saw who was recording Basically, that's what I really want to say. He saw who was recording. So why would people, you know, go run stuff in and all these different stories is coming out now. And like I told y'all, distraction, confusion, chaos. Okay. Look at his hand. How his hand goes up to the camera person. Okay. Pay attention to this. Now, this is the female. She was standing right next to, and this don't make no sense, y'all, okay? All these women that were standing around, standing around him. Why did any of them get hit? And ask yourself this question. Did they know? Did they know what was about to take place? Her right here. She's coming for it. And as you can see, you can look at her from the picture and say, um, she's the type of person that loves to take pictures and show herself on social media. She looked like she didn't have somewhat rough life um, that, you know, guys, you know, possibly, I'm going to say allegedly, from what I'm looking at, if I just want to break something down, she's somebody that's used and abused, y'all. Okay? Um... She's somebody that's with a part of the crew, the mob task, and she gonna do what they tell her to do. She gonna report what they tell her to report. She ain't about to get out of line. This ain't no joke, y'all. People been bodies been dropping around mob task now for a long time. Now I wanna play something for y'all. If I'm not mistaken, this is the one that said this. Okay, y'all want y'all to listen to something. Hey, Storm. Um, I just want to say something really quick, and I'm going to try not to give out my identity. Um, we were all there when okay. all this happened. I just left from HPD. First of all... Wait a minute, y'all. Now, first she says she don't want to give out her identity, right, y'all? But at the same time, she's saying she don't want to give out her identity. All of this stuff is popping up on social media with her posing different pictures and this and that and, that and this and right away everybody knew who she was okay so if somebody did not want to be give up their identity you know out of fear or whatever whatever no way she would have even said anything to social media she went to the police and that's it she wasn't finna jump on here and do this and that because nine times out of ten, if she went to the police, they probably was going to tell her, you know, probably to be quiet. Okay, y'all? For her own safety. So, just pay attention to this. Okay, let's keep going. In order to be around jazz trends, you have to be searched. None of us had guns, but jazz, but jazz people had guns. 
Okay, all of this about this was over a dice game. This shit started in Fifth Ward around nine thirty ten last night. So this part didn't make no sense. She said that um, this wasn't even over no dice game. So she's already flipping the script right away. She's doing her part to change the narrative, okay? And she says it started at Fifth Ward, okay? Now, we saw Quavo riding around with them, the guys from Fifth Ward. That's allegedly where Jay Prince and them is from, Fifth Ward. And they run that area and all of this stuff, right? So... If she knows Jay Prince and she's telling the whole story about where it started at and this and that and that and this, don't you think her life would be in danger? Why would she come forward and say anything and she was standing right next? What are the odds of her knowing so much about Jay Prince them and she was standing right next to take off, y'all? She was the one with the brown hat on and the little short little, you know, the same outfit she got on right here. She has that. Br Go back and look at the pictures. She is standing right next to him. And then the devil and the little angel is on the other side, each other side of him. So he has three females standing right around him, y'all. Okay. I want y'all to pay attention. They were part of distraction, too. So you have all these women around him. You know, he ain't paying attention to the guys. That's standing around waiting on everything to kick off. So just pay attention. All right, y'all. Let's keep going. I hate when bloggers get on here. Oh, she just gave the confirmation. No, she just got up here and lied. Let's keep going. So this had nothing to do with no damn dice game, with no money situation or anything like that. And the only reason why I'm not going to great details because I live in Houston and the Prince family know. <laughs> but all of this shit that they're saying about, oh, well, this was a sacrifice. Okay. Now, this is very important. I want y'all to listen to. If somebody was in, you know, the midst of this whole situation happening, they scared about um, their life and all of this stuff. They don't get on here. FDA is going to tell about what happened. They are going to tell what happened. Why would the she go into detail and make sure she mentioned? She made sure. Y'all go back and listen to that when she called in to Storm on Road Channel and all that. And and, they, and and people she called channel in, somebody that got a big following, she called his channel. <laughs> okay, so she can get, you know, her 15 minutes of fame. Okay, y'all. So pay attention to this. She mentioned it ain't no sacrifice. <laughs> Remember what I told y'all, okay? When somebody try to flip the script, nine times out of ten, what they're trying to get you to think it wasn't, that's probably most likely what it was. Okay, y'all? She made sure she mentioned that it wasn't no sacrifice. Okay? And I want you to pay attention to the same. First of all, she act like she's defending Quavo. Okay? And at the same time, she's acting like she's talking against Jay Prince, but she really not talking against Jay Prince. She's giving information that everybody already know. If Jay Prince Jr. gonna have a party, he gonna make sure that ain't nobody coming in there. You know what I'm saying? Off the street with no with no toys. That's mandatory for his status, y'all. If they not doing that and they millionaires, they they the dummies. Okay, especially if they own party. Okay, this don't make no sense. So for her to say he was his people was the only one that had something. Ain't that about what we all knew in the first place? It was his party. His private party. Right, y'all? The police kept saying that over and over again. It was a private party. Let's keep going. Why would she specifically mention this wasn't no sacrifice? Why not mention it wasn't this person's fault or it wasn't that person's fault? No, this wasn't no sacrifice. Ask yourself this question why sacrifice came out of her mouth. Let's keep going, y'all. This was an argument between two camps, and it wasn't even between two camps because Takeoff and Quavo was basically trying to be the mediator between the people who were arguing. Okay, now make this make sense, y'all. Takeoff and Quavo is from Atlanta. They are guests in Houston. Okay, y'all? No matter how many times they didn't hung out with them, they are still guests. Of the Prince Nim family. Okay. Now make this make sense to me. Y'all. That Takeoff and Quavo. Quavo being the. You know Takeoff being the one that's in the cut. Being quiet all night long. 
he want to jump in the middle of two other people getting into it that has nothing to do with them whatsoever. Now, we know what we heard. We heard a little arguing about somebody want to play basketball. I don't know. Did they want to challenge them in basketball because they whooped his butt playing dice? I don't know. But who gets mad at somebody because they won their money? It don't make no sense. If I, if I didn't want somebody's money, I'm not going to pick with the person because I won their money. I, I didn't get their money. I'm, I'm out. Why keep nitpicking at this person that you didn't want their money already? Don't it seem staged, y'all? Don't it seem stupid, y'all? Okay? Now, this is what we heard. That's the stupidity that we heard, okay? They claimed that this was about. Now, she want us to believe there was no arguing, there wasn't no nothing, and we heard that part with our own ears. She want us to believe that two people from Atlanta, that one is quiet as a mouse, the other one with the big mouth, they both jumped in together to defend two other camps that was arguing, and they had nothing to do with it, but they jumped in the middle, and they were trying to keep the peace, what the hell would they have to keep the peace for? And it's J. Prince Jr. and them's party. They the ones should be keeping the peace. If somebody arguing in my birthday party, and I'm not even J. Prince, I'm going to be like, y'all going to have to get out of here with that. Ain't no way I'm about to sit in the cut and be quiet when I'm seeing people that I invited to the party messing with some celebrities that I invited to the party. Make it make sense, y'all. She flipped the whole script and everybody started posting her pictures up. And I don't know what's wrong with half of the guys because, like I told y'all, they see somebody with a pretty face or they see somebody that, you know, and they just, oh, everything that comes out of this person's mouth is the truth, the truth, y'all. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, shit. And so everybody's saying, oh, well, this is Quavo. Quavo has the nerve y'all now let me tell y'all something i'm gonna tell y'all this did have y'all been seeing footage after footage after footage everybody that had some footage has put their footage together on social media for everybody to see the all the different angles that everything went down in why everybody got all their phones out recording everything else even recorded take off on the ground all kind of stuff they recorded okay why is there no footage whatsoever y'all please tell me of Quavo passed out y'all make it make sense y'all what she's doing is defending both parties she's defending my task party because she's not really telling on them and then she's defending Quavo at the same time y'all this is the whole sole purpose of this because if Quavo and Mob Taz, you know, allegedly, played a part in this, y'all. They want everybody that played a part in it to get away with it. They want to brush it under the rug as an accident, y'all. Well, we all know this was no accident, y'all. Why in the world with the person that's dressed up just like the birthday man? Why in the world is he... Standing right over there by takeoff. And he's allegedly somebody that they have on camera. Pulling his toy. On takeoff. Why would he be dressed in the same sweater and everything. Just like the birthday guy. Y'all. That wore a hat that said. Basically he was fishing tonight. Make it make sense. Y'all. Make it make sense. It, it amazes me that. The, some of these bloggers, even Storm was sitting there listening and acting like she was telling the truth. But you ain't analyzed and stopped to think of and question nothing she was saying. Let's keep going. Tell you we had to help them to the fucking car? Did they tell you that? Like, what? nobody is, is, is really talking about them. Nobody's talking about she had to pick up Cuevo and they all, the females had to carry him to the car. Well, where's the footage, baby girl? You got this, you know, crazy story that, you know, you want to add to the to the pot, but there's no footage. 
There's nobody showing it at all. You know what they are showing? A car speeding away from, you know, from the bowling alley. And a lot of people think that that was, you know, um, the assistant, that they were taking assistance to the hospital because the assistant got hit up too. That's what people are saying. So how in the world can Quavo be speeding off with the assistant trying to get the assistant to the hospital at the same time y'all carrying him to the car? Make it make sense. Did y'all carry him to the car and he just miraculously woke up and they start speeding off to get the assistant to the hospital? Okay, y'all, let's make it make sense, y'all. Let's keep going. Real that's going on. But I'm going to tell you this, and I'll leave it at that. The only people who had firearms that night was the camp who protect Jax. That's all. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, she topped it off with, that's all I'm going to say. Isn't that obvious, y'all? It was his party. Wouldn't his people be the only one that's be a part of the security team? Would his security team really want other people coming in there and they possibly could, um, you know, have some kind of toy and hit up, you know, one of the princes? Ain't nobody about to let people just walk in there like that with no toys. So everybody knew that already. So what major did she just tell us, y'all? She made people think that she was talking against Jay Prince. Then. She at the same while, at the same time, trying to cover for Quavo. Y'all, this was a damn sacrifice. And they're trying to do whatever they can to make people think that it wasn't now. Okay, y'all? And it amazes me that the first, you know, men that jumped on here and started listening to her, the first thing they thought of was she was telling the truth. This was confirmation. I don't get it. Thank you, Ashley. She just confirmed nobody from the Migos camp did what people are saying as far as shot their own man. Really? Did she really confirm that, y'all? This is what he just said. Did she really confirm? Did nobody from the Migo camp hit their own guy? Word on the street is he got hit by two different toys, not just one. That one person hit at the other person and the other person hit at the other person. But every all the shells just miraculously ended up in poor little old takeoff. He just took all the the shells for everybody. Make it make sense, y'all. Okay? Make it make sense. That's all I'm gonna say for this for right now. And I'll be back. I'll be back, y'all. Peace. <laughs>